Happy Friday, everybody. Let's get this day started. <laughs> oh, boy. Here we go again. Well, it started. That's a good thing. <laughs> what are you doing? Huh? What have you got? A stick. A stick. A stick. A goofball. Oh God, he's gonna take me out. Well, this is making absolutely no sense to me. Same thing as yesterday. I got up early expecting a whole bunch of trucks to be sitting up here in line. It's 5.30 and I'm pulling in here. And uh, I'm the first truck. Oh well, I guess I'll take a little nap till seven o'clock when they open all right everybody it's uh 707 now i got my ticket get probed pull up here wait for the guy to open the door here he's probably getting his computer ready and all that stuff so we're gonna pop out and roll the car So I crawled in the bunk and tried to take a nap. It got quiet for a little bit. I get out this morning at quarter till seven and look who's here. He was behind me. He was chasing me or I was chasing him all day yesterday. And then we're starting it out again today. So this big pet hair, they used to have dumps and they would tip your truck up years ago. just weighed the uh, weighed the product in the bottom of the pit no scales no scales out here so uh, we'll see if I can figure out where I can <sighs> set you guys
how you do it. Simple as that. Okay, got back to Dad's. I called him on the way. He was already up, but uh, I pulled in here and I unloaded the grain cart and uh, he got the combine out of the shed, brought it around and loaded it, unloaded it into the truck. And I don't know if you can see him through the tree back there, but he's back there. There's just a little triangle part back there left. Usually we get the cart and two, two loads off the combine, but the cart must have been extra fulls. He says there's not room in the truck for it, so I parked the grain cart over there in the barnyard for now, so I'm gonna go over, walk over there and untarp that so he can dump that teaspoon in it so it's not sitting on the combine. And uh, then I'm gonna head back to Toledo. It's sprinkling, as you can see by the window. I think you can see. So, uh, I don't know what we're gonna do. Depending on how bad it is, I don't know. We'll have to see what we get, whether we take the day off or maybe later we can run over to either my place or Woodville and, and get things going. So, anyway, that's where we're at for now. Well, I never experienced this before. Pounded caissons in. Let me zoom in. Still ain't very close, is it? Yeah. Back up here, 9.30, we got the rest of that corn ran off. And uh, now there's four trucks in front of me, so, yep. He's taking off. All right, I'm gonna get this on tarp and get busy. Okay, Friday, 12.02 p.m. Me and Dad stopped at Cracker Barrel on the way home. He was looking, looked at his watch. I said, are you hungry? He goes, yeah. So we had to go down 75, get off on 475, because we're already past the exit. Get off on 25, get back on 475, then get on 75 north, and then do the whole thing down Perrysburg, make the U-turn in a semi and then go back into the parking lot. But we did it, good food. But it didn't rain up there, but there's water puddles standing here. I don't know if you can see out in front of the barn. Uh, so yeah, this is great for the wheat. Great for the wheat. So I'm gonna help Miss Tammy get the pool closed up and I gotta get the air conditioners out of the house. And, few other things grain drill put away corn planter moved yeah there's a list rainy day take the day off no no there's plenty of stuff to do yeah like I said mud puddles in the driveway neighbors over there are still shelling corn trying to push it through and get that 80 acre chunk done Anyway, let's see what the rain gauge says. You can see a couple tents. Oh, three tents. Three tents right now. 